the the issue is that we, when we go from one jump from one to another to another to another, it's because we don't want to experience the one that we're on. Do you follow me? So so let's say an emotion comes up firstly, oh, I'm a being a bad parent. Then all of a sudden I jump to, oh, I hate God. And then all of a sudden I jump to other emotions. What's actually happening is I'm trying to get away from the previous one all the time. And that's why another one comes up. But there's a soul longing that you want to do with your emotions. Right? So the best thing I've found for that myself is that what I try to do is just, I allow whatever is triggered in that moment to be experienced in full. And as soon as some other interruption comes, even from my own mind, I always bring myself back to the same thing that I did right at the start. So I don't even go to the second discussion. Does that make sense? I don't even move. The first one was, the first one that came up today, this morning was whatever it was. Like, so I might have had a dream this morning. The first thing that came up this morning, I woke up and I was in fear. What was I afraid of? Oh, the dream was about, what was it about the other day? Oh yeah, that's right. I had this piece of skin that just come off the back of my head and I pulled it right off and it was just, like it was hard as a rock, this skin it was just, and I could hang it in front of myself, and then I dropped it, and then I went and grabbed another piece of skin off the back of my hand and pulled it all the way up, and I woke up really freaked out right? <laughs> from this dream, and and I allowed myself to feel about it, you know, and just get straight into that. Now, now lots of other things could have happened during the day afterwards, but I need to focus. That was the thing that came up, so that's what I'm going to do with right now, and keep my focus on it. If I don't keep my focus on it then there's a reason why, and the reason why is I don't want to. If I don't want to, then I need to be honest. I don't want to do with that. If you, if you don't be honest, you're going to jump from one to the other. Just say, like, the issue is, I'm a bad parent, if we bring up that previous issue. Or, you know, I feel guilty all the time. That's the issue, right? If I jump from that issue to another issue, it's because I don't want to deal with that first issue. So don't deal with the second one. You just go back to the first one. Say, I don't want to deal with that issue. And then when the second one comes up, no, the second one's there because I just don't want to deal with the first issue. You just keep reminding yourself. This there, that's there because I don't want to deal with this issue. That's there because I don't want to deal with this issue. And what will happen is I'm allowed to not deal with the issue, that issue. And as you start feeling that, ironically, you start connecting to the issue generally. It's, it's acknowledging that you don't want to that will enable you to stay on one place. At the moment, you're not acknowledging that you don't want to deal with that. So you go to the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one. And then you end up with this whole mental, intellectual, confused mess. And then you think, well, what in the hell? I can't do with anything now. Might as well go and have a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.